guys, welcome to my curls. My name is Renee, and if you're new to my channel, this is where I love to talk about my gray hair. Look at all of this gray hair I have, y'all. I have it pulled back for a purpose. I am gonna share with you all a tip, a trick, something I've learned, like a little secret, how to keep your makeup out of your gray hair. This was a huge problem for me. But because I have so much gray hair around my face, like the gray is basically white in my temples and right in here. I, my hair is so, so white that every time I would put my makeup on, the makeup would get in my hair and discolor my hair. And so I'm gonna share with you how I solved that problem. It is so easy. It will cost you about $1 to buy what I'm gonna show you. It is just so easy and, and so silly that I cannot believe. I'm just now explaining this to you all. Here we go. Here is my trick on how to keep makeup out of your gray hair. It doesn't matter whether you use a liquid foundation or a powder foundation. I use them both. That's a whole nother video. But what you need is one of these little cloth stretchy headband things. You can get them in like a pack of three at your local grocery store or you can get them on Amazon. I'll put a link below. But I just bought a package and this is what I do when I put on my makeup. Put this around my face and I'm going to pull it up and make sure that all of my gray hair is just kind of tucked under just like that and I look ridiculous I know but this really really works I promise so if you use a powder foundation like I do most of the time the powder just kind of would like get in my in my hair so the headband really just keeps the powder from getting over into my hairline and if you use a liquid foundation you know this may or may not help you with your liquid i always put it on regardless of the type of foundation that i'm using okay so see i have my foundation on and it did not touch the gray hair if you're using a liquid foundation put it on your fingers and this just kind of gives you a barrier and helps you not to get the liquid in your hair the blush this was always the worst part for me let me show you what happens with the blush most women use a powdered blush when i would put on my blush with the brush it would inevitably get in my gray hair so with this little headband on, let me put my blush on, hold on. A little color on my cheeks. With this little headband on, when I go to blend in my blush, the headband just really keeps the blush out of my gray hair. And it is so nice. And then when I'm done with my blush and my foundation, I just pop that back and it keeps the hair out of my face while I do the rest of my makeup. So there it is, that's my tip and my trick on how to keep your makeup out of your gray hair. And if you're interested in my makeup routine or any of the makeup products that I use, I did a whole video on my makeup and I'll link it right up here. And in that video, I answer so many of your makeup questions, such as, did I have to change my makeup routine once I went gray? Is it okay to wear eyeshadow with a little bit of shimmery in it? Did I need to tailor my makeup to my gray hair? All of the questions that you all sent me about makeup, I answered in that video, so take a look. I hope you've enjoyed my quick, quick video today. It was just a little tidbit that I wanted to share with you all. Give it a thumbs up. I would love for you to subscribe to my channel. Welcome to my curls. And just let's talk about our gray hair ladies. We have so much to talk about. But I'm going to run because I am headed to take Pollux and Maxie to the dog park. It is so beautiful outside today. It is 50 and sunny and we're just going to go play at the dog park. So I'll see you later.